No, they totally- he totally does have a baby with her. Hold on. Who is this? Rita Repulsa uh, from Power so Rangers. Oh, when, what? <laughs> yes, his name is Thrax, the son of Lord Zed and Rita Repulsa. Yes! He was oh in Overdrive. I heard God. about this guy through the grapevine because I didn't watch this version of, of Power Rangers, but holy shit. They, mm. they, they done mm. fuck. Wait, is that the baby that she's like, cry? <laughs> no, no, that's a, that's, a, that's a baby that she kidnapped, but, you know. <laughs> that's a kidnapped baby, not her, her of the womb child. <laughs> she was so cool. Like, she was so cool. I named a uh, fish that we got after her, and we had to return it because it promptly ate every other fish we had in the bag with it. <laughs> um, that's Walmart fish for you. Uh, but... Like, literally, it, I, I found I found out later what she was called. It is a beta fish. So it makes sense why she mm -hmm. ate all of the yeah. food yeah. mm -hmm. with her. Mm -hmm. uh, but it, my mom and I, and, and my dad, not knowing anything about fish at the time, it was like, oh no, this fish is a man-eater. We, we gotta get rid of this. And I was like, no, it's Rita. <laughs> I mean, it made sense to me that she was a bad guy. <laughs> it was a good time. All of our fish eventually, like, died in a catastrophic, like, fucking, uh, I don't know what you would call this. Like, we could not get the tank to stay clean after we did some, like, water transfer. I think this, like, the, the filter was fucked up. I fucked up again in getting this fish. I need to shut up. <laughs> I can't, I have can't shut up disease. It's true. Why do you do this? I don't know. Why do I do this? I can't shut up. It's genetic. Mood. Oh, my mom got a new dog. Up. I can't shut up. Your mom got a new dog. What kind of dog? Okay, so I want mm -hmm. I want y'all to know that mom said yeah, from like, November to uh, like last week, I'm going to get a small dog. Okay. She got a big dog. Oh yeah, she got a husky shepherd mix. <gasps> I'm like, mom. Oh my god, he's so big. <laughs> mom, this big. is the opposite of a small dog. <laughs> I mean, like, if she wants a wolf, then yes, it is small. <laughs> and she was like, well, I went there and she picked me out. Her name is Bailey. I couldn't not Aww. take her. I'm like, I'm not saying the dog's not cute. I'm just saying it's not a small dog. <laughs> <laughs> you just, you lied to yourself so hard you went back in a circle. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to have a lot of bat uh -oh. wings. That's going to be useful. So, fucking, that's why I could never go to, like, to the pound to pick out a dog, because, uh, there would be no way I would leave with just one dog. <laughs> or just one cat. There's just no way. I don't know how my dad did it. Oh, well, no, I know how my dad did it with, uh, our one dog, because he saw the flyer, and luckily he was in a foster home, so it wasn't like we'd have to go in and think about all the dogs that we could take home with us. <laughs> Our other dogs had been, uh, farm, uh, puppies, so, you know, don't have to worry about that so much. All of our dogs have been mutts. Yep, same. I think Franklin was the closest we got to, like, having, like, a pure blood anything, but he was definitely mixed with, like, a pit bull. Like, it was a Rhodesian bridge back in a pit bull, basically, is what, like, the vet thought. Oh, so big and chonky. Yes, big, chonky, and really stupid, and I loved him. Yep, that sounds right. <laughs> he was also, uh, he must have gone through some kind of training to be a, uh, like, a police dog, or some kind of security animal, because the, so, my dad got into, like, a fender bender, uh, at, uh, what do you call that? The place with the president's heads. Mount Rushmore. Mount Rushmore. There we go. Yeah. Uh, so the Mount Rushmore. The communal like pause. <laughs> well, my brain was like, "What's that name?" Because it's not the President's Mountain or some fucking shit like that's like super on the nose. It's Mount Rushmore, which is you know. It's actually the yet another thing we stole from Native Americans. And yep. Then yeah, I know. I feel really depressed about that. Because <laughs> like, wow, really though. Um, this is a sacred mountain. Mm, dynamite that bitch. Dynamite that bitch and then carve the president's faces in it that killed the Native Americans. Yep. 
Like, are you fucking Ugh, the hubris? Anyways, so when we were there, we got in a fucking little tiny car accident uh, while pulling out of, I think, a parking spot. Um, and so we had to wait for the Mounties or whatever the fuck qualified as a, like a police force uh, came over like to take a statement and stuff like that from both us and the other guy. And our dog, Franklin, would bark at like legit anything. Like he just was a barker. Uh, but dead ass, this dog was silent as fuck when the cops came. Hmm. He did not make. No, nah, that dog's just a minority. <laughs> like, uh, it was shocking. <laughs> it was the most. Well, okay, because the other thing we thought he maybe was like a dog that had been trained to uh, help someone out, like who's disabled, because he could open oh, that's uh, cabinets. True. He he had opened cabinets uh, with his nose, like, and he could oh. like really figure out stuff. Like he he, you could see like the thought process going when he was like kind of considering like the logistics of how to do something. But he was also stupid as fuck. So <laughs> I think that was probably why. I think he was probably one of those dogs that uh, he probably was failed smart the enough training. To, he was smart enough to open things, but not smart enough to remember that he was not supposed to eat them kind of thing. <laughs> so that was the uh, probably problem with him. Tank was very much like that. <sighs> He was until a good boy. He, until he got his allergy and was finally like, I'm going to stop eating everything in sight. Like, oh my god. <laughs> he was a Hoover. Fucking amazing. Oh my god. He ate two chocolate cakes on us. Like, oh my god. That, uh, dog that's... Had, that dog had no oh. self-preservation. <laughs> my fucking... My first dog... Uh, you don't have a dog. He was named Bear. And no. he ate a whole... Aww. He, he ate a, a whole name. fucking thing of Ovaltine. Yeah, chocolate. And he vomited it all in my parents' kitchen. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and, and, so, because my mom, like, panicked and she looked up, like, this is like the, the like early 90s. She looked up how to, like, make a, a dog vomit. And it was like, they gave him Vaseline or something. That sounds fair. And yeah. so she waited outside for so long for him to puke it out, and he didn't do anything. And so she's like, okay, this isn't working. We're going to take him to the vet. So she takes him inside, and he immediately barfs on the kitchen floor. Oh. Which she said it was the most disgusting, like, chocolate oh. mess oh. ever. And she said it was just the worst, but at least he was fine. <laughs> like, that was, that's what it amounted to. At least he was fine. I mean, yeah, at least actually. He didn't die. Yeah. But it was like, oh my God. How fucking typical, am I right? Like, you get a mm -hmm. dog, and it mm -hmm. fucking does something, some stupid shit like that, and then you're like, okay, responsible animal owner, I'm gonna, like, make sure this, this works out and stuff, and it's like, oh, okay, well, this is not working, now we have to go to the vet. Oh, he just suddenly decided to puke while inside <laughs> instead. God. Our Nana dog was named Bear. I don't know why Bear was named Bear. I can't remember... Because they found him, like, wandering around by my parents' work. And they were calling him that. And then, like, a, 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 like a, like, a UPS guy came in and said, that's not a bear, that's a gorilla dog. And so my parents <laughs> would, on occasion, call him, him gorilla dog. Because <laughs> he, he was, uh, he, basically, in today's terms, he would be a boutique dog. Because he was, like, some kind of lab poodle mix. Oh, a labradoodle. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I couldn't remember the name for some reason, which is stupid, but <laughs> a Labradoodle, yes. He would have been a boutique dog today, but no, uh, back in like 1990, no, they got him in like 90, or no, not 90, 88, because it was right when they got their house. So back in the 80s, like, that's not a fucking thing, that's a mutt. <laughs> so he was all black, including his skin and his like nose and like around, he was just in the inside of his mouth. It was so cool looking. Like, the only thing that was not black on him was his tongue, and I think, like, part of his paw pads. He was so cool. He was a very gentle dog. I just heard a noise. Oh! Uh, yeah, we earned a lot of money. Hell yeah. We did it. We, we've saved the galaxy. If only. <clears throat> oh my god, I'm dying. Stop that. Why are you dying? Uh, fuck. Uh, Trump. I don't know. I, I mean, okay, yeah, but same. Mood. Worm. What are you fucking, like... 
What's up, buttons? We we suffer the same. What's up? <laughs> Coronavirus, fam. <laughs> My mom, okay, so, you know, obviously the fam is, uh, on that Republican Kool-Aid, but, uh, yeah. so they watch Fox News, like, constantly, and, um, she was talking about how fucking funny it was when he was talking about how they had to test him, and apparently he said it was like they put pliers up his nose and, uh, like, went behind his eyeball or some fucking shit, like, I don't know, but... Apparently, it was so traumatizing that he was talking, like, shit about, like, how you get tested. I'm pretty and sure they just lobotomized him. I, if, if only. If they lobotomized him, I think things would be a little different, but, you know. <laughs> a little better. Uh, yeah. Could you imagine yeah, that if so they were like, yeah, we're totally gonna test you for coronavirus. Take out a chunk of your brain. Yeah, just ice pick lobotomium right there. <laughs> well, that's death. Fucking heroes. Like, the, uh... Fucking, no, but she, oh God, and she's like, and they keep touching their faces during the like, fucking, because I guess they just talk nonstop about like coronavirus. Like they keep like having press conferences and shit about it, yeah, and it's like it's cool. Constant, and it's just dribble at this point. Well, yeah, and it's like, uh, okay, so we talking about it. What are you doing about it? Like, you just continue to talk shit, and then apparently he fucking tweeted that you could you could like cure your coronavirus with like two things and then the the fucking was it the world health organization or just the united states health organization was just like hey don't fuck do that that could kill you and it was like oh my god Whoa. oh yeah because he was talking we, ali and i were just talking about this he was like there's like there's a hydrochloroquine yeah it's hydroxychloroquine like Hydroxy it's like a really chloroquine or something like that. It's like a fucking long ass word. It's a it's a malaria drug, and the quote trial end quote that they used to test if it was effective against coronavirus is horrifically flawed, and yet he still announced it anyway. So like in Arizona, two people um, ingested chloroquine sulf chloroquine sulfate, which is what's used to clean fish tanks, huh. and now the husband is dead and the wife is in the ER. And it's like, yeah. Wow. If that Darwinism is kept his right? fucking mouth shut, or oh. you know, try to himself. <laughs> be my friend. Oh no, I don't yeah. have. Hi, the Justin. Fucking... Sorry, I forgot to say hi. <laughs> I don't have the gift tips anymore. The what tips? Yikes. Oh, you know what? I probably can keep joys of efficiency in because that doesn't affect anybody but me. Buttons, I don't know what you're talking about, but whatever's going on for you, I feel like you're having a time. I'm having a- I'm having a terrible time. I am not on this planet. I can't, like, oh my god with you! Moment. Oh no. What? what? Oh, you can only hear me? Oh shit. Well. Well. Moons for the well. salt for an hour. Uh, <laughs> yeah, basically. I forgot to check if, like, the desktop audio is, like, fucking hooked in properties yeah use my fucking headset please holy fucking shit <laughs> i love i love hello like, well I it's love... okay get the play-by-play -play on their their stuff i love that slobs is just always like you don't actually want us to catch your game audio right it's not slobs it's actually just straight vanilla obs right now and i feel but it's okay this has happened multiple times since, uh, like, hopping to a new computer, so... I can't do anything about it. Okay. Hey, I... I forgot that there was a painting to pick up. I'm going to take some time to... Sadie, what the fuck are you- You hop as bad as real Sadie. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna take some time to organize the farm. Okay. Justin says, did you see the Fox News guy who said to hold your breath for 10 seconds and if yes. you can do that, you're fine. Yep. Uh, I thought yeah, that was I just a Facebook that. meme. Oh no, that was like a real thing you, that, a, that a legitimate like news person said. Who the fuck was- oh god, it's the guy- oh my god, it's the guy that we've made fun of for like 15 years. What oh, is no. his name? Oh god. I... Geraldo Rivera. It was Geraldo fucking Rivera? Yeah. Are you kidding? No. God, that guy's drank the fucking goddamn fucking Kool-Aid ass, bitch. What the yeah. Fuck? <laughs> you are not wrong. 
Dude, no, like, so I thought it was funky that he was, like, uh, appearing on Fox News a bunch. Because I thought he was, like, a dem or whatever. I don't know, he fucking... Used to be, but I yeah, think Yeah, that... now... I think that's long since past. I think, I think that's super, like, yeah, bad. <laughs> it's not great. Uh, very bad. Not good. Scream. Okay. Jesus Christ. So, I think step one is going to be... Let's get all of these resources into one. You know what's really fucking weird is that aside from Geraldo Rivera, uh, there's another guy that like was from a local news station here that is like now big. I forget what his name is. Uh, he's a black guy. Bald Me? head. Wait, say that again. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Coco. <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> Are you sure? Because you didn't ask her to say it again. <laughs> well, if Coco's saying no, I I don't know what you're talking about, then she definitely fucking said it. <laughs> <laughs> no, what is his name? Fuck, he was a local dude. Hold on. Uh, who's who's farmed out here as a clusterfuck with a singular berry? Uh, leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> leave me the fuck alone, okay? I've been taking care of other shit. It's fine. <laughs> It's just overgrown. There's a singular I'm... scarecrow trying their best. <laughs> Listen, I'm saving all that grass for when we get a silo. <laughs> the cat chose me. It's okay. You can't grow more cats. If that was a thing that you could do, people would do that all the time. Uh-huh. The thing I miss yeah. about Staxel is my cat. I miss the cats. Because <laughs> everything about Staxel is weird, except for the cats are like the literal best part. That's true. <laughs> Coco, did you get to watch Stax a little? Uh -uh. Oh my god. it It's, it's an uh... interesting Minecraft clone, but it's infuriating at the same time. Yeah, that's a way to put it. Because uh, it has like overlap blocks, and uh, even though it's like expressed on a, a very rigid grid, and it's like, hmm, when I put blocks down, they don't cover the hole that I made. That's not right. <laughs> Justin says, need to have the Marvel character Snowflake intervene. Listen. Ooh. That's so fucking dead. That, like, that design was so bad. Like, both of the designs that's... on those were really not good. What? What is more tasteless? Marvel's character generator? Or, or what? It says Mark Spider. Zuckerberg. Oh, Mark Zuckerberg? Uh, hmm. What did Mark Zuckerberg do recently? Uh, <laughs> recently, actually, not much. Yeah, see, like, that's, like, it's Marvel. <laughs> it's, even though, uh, so according to my friend Amy, apparently, uh, they have, like, people who are doing that, uh, new group of, of, um, mutants or superheroes, I don't fucking know what they are. Whatever they are, they are, like, by somebody who actually is, like, not a fucker. So that's a good first sign. But also, like, so much about that <laughs> is just so yikes. Yeah, and also one of the things that I think is yeah. pretty pretty valuable to have been pointed out about it is um, that they're not going to mean anything in 10 to 15 years. Yeah. It's it's such a situational and time-sensitive sort of topic name that it's like neither of those things make any sense. Even now, it's like already, you know, at the end of their lifespan kind of sort of in popular culture. What are you doing, Scoot? Who that? That's, that uh, button? oh, what's her name? I can't remember suddenly. Button. That's not Button. That's an NPC. Uh, what's Mario Demetrius's daughter's name? That's Maru. Skeletal ribcage shirt. Maru. Why do I have a skeleton shirt? It's because I'm emo. What? Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> well, goddamn it, you might call my shit. <laughs> that, you, maybe you should clear all your fucking cans out, Scott. There's one can. Okay, then you're doing good today. Today. Oh, if... Quilt. Fucking. What the fuck was I talking about? Oh, Snowflake and, and Safe Space. Safe Space was the, the real kicker. Because Snowflake is kind of like, you could argue, okay, fine, ice powers, whatever. But Safe Space is very specific and very targeted marketing. Yeah. And all the twins are non-binary. Thing, so it's like, okay, 
understood, but also, hmm. It kind of, it, it has the same energy to me as when DC tried to be like, look, uh, Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy are dating. Isn't that great? But it's all male gays, lesbian fan service. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Mm hmm. They've gotten some people who write it good, but others are just like, ah, my boner. <laughs> Justin says, Oh, in other stupid news, a man is suing Target because they can't back up a claim that a certain hand sanitizer kills 99.9% .9 of germs. <laughs> Lawsuits are just for fun now, I guess. Uh, also, apparently the name of that comic is New Warriors, which... I'm surprised they didn't go with Social Justice Warriors, if I'm honest. Yeah. Not as tone deaf has everything to else to do with it. Uh, also, Justin is dragging me for my skeleton shirt. He says I look like the, sing the uh, singer in the Black Parade music video, and it's true. Gerard Way. When I was a young boy, my father, he <laughs> took me to the city to see a marching to band. see a marching band. He said, son, when you grow up. Will you be the savior of the broken, the beaten, and the damned? And I'm like, Dad, this is a little intense. <laughs> Could I think about it? <laughs> no. You gotta go right then. <laughs> also, he's talking about when he's gonna die, which is also not great. <laughs> Justin says they're getting a new season of Re- What the fuck? I heard about that, yeah. Is it because of Brooklyn Nine-Nine being so popular? I don't know. I truthfully do not know. Wait, what the fuck did you... Justin, what the fuck do you mean? Did you see where the character Screen Time got his powers from internet gas? What? 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 Justin, what does that mean? What's the internet gas? <laughs> I'm sleep at house. <laughs> I got a lot of questions right now, and I'm not sure that any of them are going to have adequate answers. I... Grandfather's internet gag. What the fuck? Hold on. Internet gas Marvel. Okay, what the fuck are you saying? <laughs> a meme... Oh, <laughs> oh boy. Oh, good. Oh! Oh no! <laughs> oh my god! This is this is another part of the new the new uh, hero team, the new warriors, and his name is Screen Time, a meme obsessed super teen whose brain became connected to the internet after becoming his his grandfather's experimental internet gas. Now he can see augmented reality and real time maps and can instantly Google any fact. Does this make him effectively a genius? He sure acts like it does. So he's just... Cuban <laughs> Jarvis. <laughs> New recipe okay, on Queen of Thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, I want this, this is the interview part. I wanted to have a teen... Have teen characters who felt as now as the New Warriors did back in 1990, explains Kibble Smith. The <laughs> New Warriors have been zeitgeist characters from the beginning. You get... Edgy skateboarding Night Thrasher in the 90s and the reality TV team in the 2000s and now in 2020 we have the new warriors who have never grown up without the internet. And one character who appears to essentially live inside it. <sighs> the word screen time is only ever used in a sort of restrictive sense. And because we're doing a story about teenage rebels, a lot of the names are about teens fighting against labels that are put on them. So with screen time, we like the idea that he has infinite screen time. I need to leave. <laughs> I hate everything about that, to be honest with you. That was... That's like a 70-year-old man trying to sound hip. Like, I'm... How do you do, I fellow concerns. Literally. Because they just talked about things that sounded outdated for the 90s. <laughs> How do you do that? <laughs> what? What's my life? What's happening? I'm scared. This is- this is the meme, Mom, please come pick me up, I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> Justin says he seems to have nothing but broken reality on those goggles, and yes, that's true. 
If I was screen time, I would just play Broken Reality all day because I want to live in that game. <laughs> I'm all about that vaporwave visual. Uh, uh, so Justin brought my attention to that, uh, so Snowflake and, uh, Safe Space, you know, they're twins, right? They're non-binary twins. And, um, in the cover, they're kind of holding each other like you usually pose lovers. Uh -huh. uh. So, a uh, little, little off-kilter there, I feel. Uh, uh, Sounds right for mainstream comic book, though. But also, that was the thing I forgot about the two of them, is that I kind of... So they're non-binary, right? But they're color-coded pink and blue. Yeah. So I was thinking about that, and it's like... Mm, you're kind of... Kind of speaking gender, even when you're, you're like, talking about someone who's non... Non be so like um not not the best way to color code like it, they could have both been violet you know or any other color like <laughs> light purple and dark purple that would have been kind yeah. of clever I hear Coco fishing it's buttons it's not me <laughs> it's not, <laughs> it's not. <laughs> Like, almost okay. anything else you could have pawned off on me, but not fishing it. <laughs> Willy, there's plenty of space for you to walk around. <laughs> it ain't happening. No, he wants to go through you. Welcome to autopathing. Wasn't it? Yeah, so Kanetsu was devastated. She couldn't fucking marry the lady. <laughs> Caroline, yes. Yeah, she she was very upset. She was like, "How could they do this to me?" And and she and Moon slayed uh, her with a particular why? comment. <laughs> I'm trying to remember what it is. I feel like I know. <laughs> I think you slayed her several wasn't... times, but there was one in particular that was just like, "Damn!" <laughs> it was. <laughs> she has. She has. She has it out for moms, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I think... Makes it even funnier that she is an infant. <laughs> <laughs> I think You're not wrong. <laughs> it was, uh, there was one day when she was waiting for uh, Pierre to open up the shop and she was like, God, what the hell is he even doing? Well, saying uh, not opening up before nine and you're like, oh, he's probably fucking his wife. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sounds about right. <laughs> I murdered in cold blood. <laughs> I mean, just to make Konetsu suffer. Just, just for that. No, this is more. Where the fuck is it? Hold this out on purpose. Man, I've collectivized your resources. Collectivized is not a word, but okay. It is, it is in Soviet Russia. Uh, Buttons? Farm collectivization. Buttons. Yeah. I don't understand what's happening. <laughs> oh. We're in and Russia, clearly. I, what, I, what I'm saying... Soviet Russia, that... even. Not just regular, regular super dictatorship Russia. <laughs> not, just, not just basic Putin Russia. Yeah, <laughs> not just basic Putin Russia, where every day is a nightmare. <laughs> like, it's Soviet Russia, where Stalin is your friend. Stalin has been your friend. Stalin has always been your friend. Stalin will hold your hand whether you like it or not. <laughs> <laughs> Just look into the, the those dark eyes and that mustachioed face. It really freaks me out that my st my ex stepfather looks like Joe Stalin. Like that <laughs> ass. It is. It, it is may explain like the behavior. It is a likeness <clears throat> I've literally never been able to unsee. <laughs> Uh, that's funny, but Jesus Christ. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> Scream. <laughs> Basically. TikTok, I don't care if Tyra Banks live. <laughs> My TikTok the buttons has the the fact you have the app down kills me and don't just absorb it off of fucking Twitter or Tumblr. No, but listen. It, some like, separately. Some, some TikToks have great Vine energy, and, like, I'm about that life. Oh, I know. Somebody... I know they have great Vine energy, but, like, 
I need to old start to a fucking sign. download TikTok. <laughs> I actually, so I actually have been considering uninstalling it because it's like the most asshole design thing ever. In that you can't hit the back button to get out of a TikTok; it just plays another one. You have to double tap Ew. it to leave, and I'm like, that's bad. Bullshit. Also, the Chinese uh, government likes to probably look at your information. So uh... cool, they can figure out I'm fucking gay, like everything. <laughs> <laughs> that was like the weirdest thing talk they were talking about like the analytic back end of tiktok and how like it strategically is like uh either through the algorithm down like putting down people who are not pretty or straight and it was like man oh yeah they, they like a lot of people like figuring out stuff for that because that seems like excessively precise like yeah, yeah it's programmed a like wildly where the fuck is Pam at? Bar ain't open, so she's in her house. She's hungover as fuck. Well. I just remembered that horrible add on, which is like make Pam your horse for some reason. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, some of the mods, not great. Some of the mods, very weird. All right. Disruptively sure. strange. Nice. Also, there's, like, there's also people are super thirsty about this game, and it's like of all the games to be thirsty in, you picked this one. Yeah, there's a lot of people who are, who are so horny that they're like, make Pam have huge tits, kind of like that kind of specific. Don't forget about the dildo riding scarecrows. Excuse me, buttons. Uh, I could have done without. I no, I had, I see it. Y'all are seeing it. <laughs> I I can't actually believe that someone is that horny. That oh they, yeah, it's bad. They I can always it, believe. Porn is, <laughs> porn is free. Porn is free. I just I can't believe you can even draw pixel titties and that's free. But no, you have to have it in your Stardew game. Welcome back, Justin. <laughs> did you did you come back before or after? The I don't know. Uh, Justin says, "Okay, I'm back. I just want to add one last your thing, and that is the vampire character. It's just as upsetting to me in how out of touch it is. Oh, I didn't get to the vampire character. I Hold on. forgot about the vampire character. Oh boy, be negative. Oh yeah. boy. Oh boy. It's not great. Eighteen living vampire exposed to." Michael Morbius's blood as a child in a rogue but life-saving medical procedure. He still ages like a regular kid, meaning he's not an actual vampire, but it still has the abilities of Morbius, whoever the fuck that is. He's also obsessed with all the music and attitude of a classic long past decades like the 90s and the fucking 2000s! <laughs> the world is a vampire, and so am I. Bye fucking... <laughs> oh, hell. Oh, help, mother. Where, where for Artho? Help. <laughs> ah! No, no. I like Trailblazer's outfit. Like, I don't really understand what she's getting at. Her, she has a magic backpack, but she has hammer space. Like, literally, that's her thing. <laughs> she has a- she's the fucking backpack! This is like just- this is like the new Chumanchi! Fucking what? I'm gonna cry. She's so cute. I'm but I'm so angry. She's the only one I like the design of. Oh, ah. that didn't work out well. Long past 2000, many years ago. It's true. Justin, don't you know how long the 2000s were? Fucking were like so many years. years. <laughs> it's like 6,000 years ago, man. Like, no joke. I am ancient. I feel ancient after finding out Kanetsu's baby. Yo, mood though. <laughs> I I felt it in my soul. Cause like we found out Kanetsu's new... baby and we, and we we were that that gif of the aging um yes. that actor. Uh oh god. I just am thinking of the Crypt Keeper part with uh Jamie Lee Curtis in uh Freaky Friday. <laughs> <laughs> like that's the emotion I had in my It's like, I'm the Crypt Keeper! <laughs> like Oh, because Kanetsu... I mean, obviously, Kanetsu is an adult, but it's like... Oh my no, God. she's a baby. 
but baby. But because baby. also, so I They're have a baby. friend that I made this year or this past year, I guess. That's God damn it. That's about Konatsu's age, and my brain's like always wanting to introduce her in this like most mentally dignified gay way, which is my young friend, and because <laughs> I don't want to call her an infant or say her age. Like, who am I, Ian McKellen? Like, What's with that? <laughs> like, literally, the gayest way to introduce somebody younger than you is to say my young. Like, like, and literally. I will die on this hill. <laughs> It's, it is gay as fuck. That's my most gay moment of 2020 is having the thought process of how do I introduce Well, this I'm talking about her and it's like my young friend and it's like well, okay. Boy, that's um that's a feeling that I got about that. <laughs> oh, and Justin says, "Yes, I did hear this. Listen, Justin. The internet's horribly horny. It's, we all know this. Like, we must accept it. But I'm mad about it." <laughs> What because like Coco? leave me Coco. alone Coco yes why are you jumping all over because I want to uh, it's, it's <laughs> time to lag <laughs> it was it was honestly it, it looked like my game was about to crash because it was just like Coco but like raving and I was like <laughs> Coco is doing some Tokyo drift out here it's like I'm hosting if the game crashes fucked. <laughs> but yeah, finding out Konetsu is 23 fucked me up deeply. So small. So small and yet so full of age. Yes, exactly. <laughs> That's what I was just thinking about. So small and yet full sap. <laughs> <laughs> she ate too much sap. <laughs> I, I really want to just get a thumbnail of like her roly poly avatar just shoving sap down her throat. Honestly, though, the cat is in the grass over why here. Why do I hear it looks so cute? Bees. <laughs> I don't know. Why do you hear bees? I don't know, but it's really disconcerting. In I don't hear. I bees. I assume you mean in the game. Yes. Because <laughs> I would hope in the game that okay. happens. Okay. How old here? I uh, heard Justin, them too. I don't know how old I think you are because apparently all of my perceptions are wrong, but I'm going to guess you are like 21. I think you're highballing it, but okay. I'm going to say 21 because we were talking alcohol. Highballing it. Granted, obviously, younger people ha can be interested in and have imbibed alcohol in the past, but I'm thinking 21. That might be lowballing it, that might be highballing it, I don't know. See, my problem is, I'm usually pretty- Oh, he's 22. Got it. See, I'm usually pretty okay at guessing ages, but, like, people are, uh, reciprocally terrible at guessing my age. So, uh... <laughs> oh my god. That you know. just- That reminds me, my psych- My psychologist and I were talking, and I was like, yeah, I'm really bad at guessing ages. And he was like, well, how old do you think I am? And I was like, ow. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Like he was like, I'm 69, and before I could stop myself, I went nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Buttons I was like, ten oh, out of ten. Damn, I fucking ruined. <laughs> the internet has ruined me. There's no. That's that's the only good response. 69. Nice. nice. There's <laughs> it's the only way. It's the only fucking way to talk about that. <laughs> The best thing happened recently with that. I was watching uh, My Hero Academia, and there was this one like episode that ends with 69 minutes left, and of course I checked the comment comments. You know what I found. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course. There's, there's one way that we can predict the internet. Justin says, you're 20, right, Moon? Uh, with the kappa face. And so, yes, I know you're being facetious, but how old do you think I am? I know I've, I've made mention of my age somewhere, but... I want to know if the the information is readily available to your. I'm interested. No, I thought I was like down fertilizer, and I was like down big seeds. I've messed up my whole system. I am saying nice like the South Park cops. I'm uh, mad. Uh, what is that? What is that like? My brain's not working. I haven't seen South Park in a very long time. God, that show went so downhill. <laughs> uh, and I'm not even sure if it's that did it start went... uphill. Well, I was just about to say, I'm not sure if that show went downhill or if I became more aware that what they were making fun of was not okay. That's, yeah, that's more like probably what's going on. 
the fuck do I put these things? It must be down here. No, but we need that tier in there. We need one of these. Uh, so we have ten bat wings. We could do one of the. Oh damn! I forgot to upgrade my watering can last season. Yes, Justin, I am in my thirties. Uh, I'm going to be thirty-one this year. Lies. No, that's very <laughs> true. That is un That is not like even you... unfortunately true. That's just very. I, true. I like how you were like. No, like questioning it. Like, wait, <laughs> wait. Does buttons not know how old I am? <laughs> so, I'm gonna tell you a a not cute story about my age. Um, this past winter, I may have made mention about how irritated I was about buttons. Uh, I'm stealing your bed. That's fine. Uh, so when my husband and I went on our vacation, which was again. For the second year in a row, we just went to Chicago and had a nice time. Uh, but it's winter, so ugh. Um, the restaurant downstairs in the hotel was very nice, so we went to dinner uh, there more than once. And uh, the hostess, the second night, um, asked me if I would like a kid's menu. And uh, I'm like, no, I'm 30. And she goes, no, you're not. And I can't, I couldn't tell if she was trying to be cute with me, but she, all the way to our table, insisted I was not 30. And if you think that it's a recovery move to uh, lean in on the mistake you made, it's not. Don't do that to somebody because it makes them very angry. <laughs> so I was very mad uh, for part of my dinner. <laughs> very irritating, especially at this age. Um, because you don't want to feel like your husband may be thought of as a pedophile, your father, or your older brother kind of thing. So, yeah. That's why it's a not very cute story. Oh god, it's been so long. <laughs> yep, sure has. Holy shit. <laughs> I've forgotten all the hot key- Why is there a bong on my table? I've got the stoner house, yes! <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Linus is a sweet old man. That's why I'm going to steal his love from you. No. Yes. I'm still sad that there's no option to let him live on the farm. Like, he can stay in his tent if he wants, but I want him to be on the farm where he's safe. Okay, back. I, I, I get that, but I mean, that's his lifestyle. He chose that world willingly. I know, but still, he should be safe. I, I don't understand what's happening. Better to Linus. Just, better to, like, no. Have the option to call the, the the villagers out. God, I'm so excited for the new Harvest Moon. I've the never new played Harvest Moon before. or the new Story of Seasons. Harvest Moon. Well, Story of Seasons too, because apparently you can be gay in that one. But um, yeah, because Story of Seasons is the original Harvest Moon. Um, I want to drop this. How do I drop this? Oh wait, the trash can. <laughs> God, it's been a fun. Yeah, no, the, the thing about it is that uh, so Story of Seasons used to be Harvest Moon, but then I guess something happened between the developer and the publisher. So the publisher fired the developer and got a new developer to do the new Harvest Moon series, which is why it's vastly different between two. Huh. Because Crystal. the developer turned around and went, well... We can't call it Harvest Moon, but we're going to continue making Harvest Moon. Yeah. Makes sense. Honestly, I'm just excited to finally be able to play one. That's fair. Excuse me. Classy. Yeah. I don't need fancy mods like that. <laughs> but look at how cute Willy is! I don't care. He's adorable. He doesn't look cute. He looks like some anime character. Let me have this, you bastard. <laughs> no. <laughs> Raise your hand if you've been personally victimized by Button's addiction to long-haired redheads. You can't see it, but I'm raising my hand. It would be hypocritical for me to judge you on that. <laughs> Thank you.
Oh yeah, onions. Alright, see you later, Smog. Don't make too many bad decisions. My foraging make level up, yay. I <laughs> The first time my boss was like, don't do anything I wouldn't do, I was like, yeah, that really doesn't rule much out. <laughs> <laughs> I told you guys that for my birthday this past year, mom took me to feed baby goats, right? Nope. No. So that's the thing that happened and I lost my fucking mind. <laughs> Amazing. I have photos of me looking the happiest I've probably looked in like 15 years because I got Aww. a pet and hold these baby goats. And then we got to hold baby kittens, and I was like, this is my two favorite things. <laughs> In this house, we condemn Blizzard for their cowardice. LMAO, I could become Sasuke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Please don't. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta take one for the team and go back in time with your friend's son to visit the tiny version of him for some reason. So there's taking an L, and then there's that. <laughs> Literally, why did they? Right. Why is there time travel in Naruto? Because I everyone's mean, doing it. Why isn't there time travel? How about that? I I want to know buttons. Why, why isn't there more use of the morph? I don't fucking field? know. Literally everything I know, I know right? about that damn thing is from the is from stupid Reddit memes. Osmosis. <laughs> oh shit! You can have like skirts now. What the fuck? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Feral beast has gone to bed. All right. Oh, fuck. <laughs> One guess. Also, is that you? <laughs> <laughs> no. Ooh, this is gonna Laura be another one of those Dio. things where, where Coco decides that she is going to. Uh, oh, it's going to rain tomorrow again. I know it. <laughs> I know that Coco is going to do this to me. It's going to rain tomorrow again. Why would I ever again. do that? Mm -hmm. I don't know, Coco. Maybe because in the Konetsu playthrough, you did that. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's right. Spring onions in the forest. Spring mm -hmm. onions. Yep. I don't know what to do. Are you gonna? Why am I, I at your house? <laughs> Buttons. What the fuck? You went to bed in her bed. What no, did, what I happened? went to bed in my house, but somehow the cutscene put me at Buttons' house to talk to Clint. That's weird. Like I literally I, see I don't Buttons know why fucking that watering be. her plants. That's pretty funny though. Aisha, I don't know why the game decided that I don't deserve a bong. I'm pretty sure I'm... Well, no, no, I'm no longer the only person living in a state where it's legal. Because nope, it's, legal uh, it's legal with me. In Illinois now, so... Illinois, Colorado, and Washington. Really it might as well be legal here. here. What, what was that, Coco? I said hurry the fuck up, Pennsylvania. <laughs> I've been sitting here going like, what did I used to use all the time to walk faster? What the fuck? Coffee. Mm -hmm. The answer is coffee. I drink a lot of coffee in this game. <laughs> really so like real life. Yeah, oh, basically. Um, I have like a little nook of rocks. Yeah, I noticed that. It looks like there's a mining yeah. section on the which I'm really hype about. I just got a chicken statue. But I cannot nice. pick it up. I must get into my inventory, however I do not remember where everything is. Sunday is, statue. Sunday is Lewis's birthday, FYI. Okay. The fuck is a Lewis? <laughs> <laughs> well, fuck him, I guess. You don't matter at all, Mr. Mayor guy. Oh, you only have 38 wood buttons. <laughs> By your wood combined, I'm getting an upgrade. Exactly. <laughs> that sounded almost like that was gonna lead into something completely different. <laughs> If only Denmark would hurry the hell up with that, says Q Dane. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Denmark, right. Choose a location. I think I can Did I ever I'm in Denmark? <laughs> Did I ever tell you guys like I don't know why Denmark like the the I'm not sure where the tangential thought on this one. But my okay. uncle used to go to Amsterdam all the time. Hmm. But it was when I was much younger. And so I was just like, yeah, but I'll go, like, straffling. Oh my god, buttons. <laughs> my mom's like, your uncle's a gay stoner. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> oh, buttons. I'm the dumbest child. Well, what would you it's know okay. of a gay stoner at that age? <laughs> my brother used to uh, really like these things called pound cakes, which, you know, are just, like, 
buttery bread, pretty much. And I mm -hmm. went, when I was a yeah. kid, I asked him, do you gain a pound every time you eat a pound cake? <laughs> Bless you. I mean, that that sounds feasible. I can see the logic. <laughs> I mean, listen, you are putting a pound of, like, each ingredient in your body, so yeah. <laughs> oh, I have a cow replacer. They're spotted. Supposedly that's the reason it's called a pound cake, is because it's literally, like, a pound of flour, a pound of something else. Butter. And it's just like, oh. probably butter, yeah. <laughs> I stamped myself like an idiot. Amazing. But I got a box out of it! Nice. Also, shipping so, okay. bin is now constructed right in front of the... Uh, Did you put it on the right or the left? Please say right. On the right of the thing. Like, it's in front, but on the right-hand side of the path. Have you guys gotten Perfect. a chicken statue yet? No. No. Turducken? No, Scott, not a turducken. <clears throat> Why would I get a chicken statue? You know, well, I've never I actually had it. a turducken. You had what? what? I've never actually had a turducken. I don't want to. It's one of those dumb gimmick things that it's like, wow, there's no point to this. To be entirely honest, a turducken sounds like salmonella in a neatly wrapped package. I don't much like duck to be honest i love duck i have I've had, had good duck, duck and i've had really bad duck i'm thinking i might have just had bad duck but like it it was really gross to me and i will probably never try it again unless i'm forced to what was that coco you you said something but it was covered up <laughs> uh, i haven't had regular duck mm. oh if i just planted that instead of eating it my dumbass was about to be like, what other type of duck is there? <laughs> well, and there's like seasoned duck and like saucy duck and all that. Oh. Well, like, you can't get out of this fucking place. You're trapped forever. God damn it. Once this is your fault. You know, that yeah, tracks. She did, she did bank the map, so. <laughs> get out of my face, Willie. I was here first. <laughs> or just shoved your pole through my ass, fine. <laughs> Well, Coco got to know the people real quick. <laughs> you should at least buy you a drink first, God. <laughs> More than. Moon's calling me Alpha. Oh, Tori's putting a bunch of wood together. Mm -hmm. Coco's getting stuff <laughs> shoved up her ass. You got a bong. I have a bong. <laughs> this is wholesome family happening. comedy. <laughs> what is that? Oh, I got a coal! I am walking literally. The I mean, also, Button's favorite thing is gays, so every time she eats that one fruit, she it's is gonna say that uh, it reminds her of gays. I forgot that's what it did. <laughs> I put it in Scott this time, so Scott's Aww. gonna get, get the feels. I put in Hales, so. Hey! I, put... <laughs> Full I, for I dead ass forgot that would be like, this thing tastes <laughs> like blank. Oh no! No, it reminds you of. Blank. Oh, they changed it? Okay. They changed it from... <laughs> from the... <laughs> Boy, that would be awkward. Well, because I, I picked goats the first time and it was like, this I thing was tastes like goats. I say that. <laughs> <laughs> well, honestly, it would have just been even more hilarious for me that it tastes like Hales. <laughs> yep. So, Lepule, how does Hale taste like? <laughs> just like that one fruit. <laughs> <laughs> We're all a fucking mess. Oh, yeah. Meanwhile, I mean, I'm just to be walking fair, around town. I wouldn't know because the most we've done is kissing. Because we've only gotten I mean, to the other person once. So. Tasting a mouth is still a taste, I guess. Yeah. Not, not incorrect. I'm gonna buy, like, a food from... <laughs> no, I mean, that's what they mean by after hours snacks, says New Monica. <laughs> there we go, much better. Oh, now I don't have to fucking limp around town. Because that's what I was doing. I was like walking the fucking. Yeah, slopes. I could see you. <laughs> oh, you ate a food? <laughs> yeah, I ate a food. It's still, it still is registering me as exhausted, though, so. Yeah. I went and bought a salad from the bar you know what's the fucking bomb cornbread mm. god i want cornbread so True. bad the safeway here uh 
which is a grocery store, they have this really bomb like cornbread that's not like that Jiffy Box cornbread. Like it's actually soft and bready and like it has a honey sweetness to it on its own. So I don't care that it's like five dollars for these four massive pieces. I'm fucking buying it. <laughs> It's gosh oh, damn delicious. Oh. Also, I'm I'm taking a leaflet from Coco's book and just fishing. Honestly, that's probably one of the best ways to make money in the beginning that's of the game. What I did yeah. last time we were playing, and then I just was absorbed <clears throat> by the action. <clears throat> I'm just going through and trying to. Uh... Oh, I found Numonica's broken glasses in the river. He wants, or they want them back. <laughs> I'm I'm leery because I'm worried Coco's gonna be like sneaking over and putting stuff around my house. <laughs> <laughs> so it's gonna rain tomorrow. Who is near me right now? That's so what I don't know. It me. If it, it makes you, you feel okay. any better, I don't have any of my mods activated, so <laughs> you know I couldn't get the API thing to work. Uh I feel Which better, but also sad. <laughs> confuses the hell out of me why it doesn't work. Coco's shenanigans were terrifying. <laughs> Just a reminder, the Jodrimen will come to kidnap you in about two hours. That's fine. I'm ready to die. I'm in bed. I keep saying I have messages on Discord, and I don't have any messages I hate Discord. that. That's what happened to me oh, so no, right. much. Apparently, it didn't show me that on the four pixels there were notifications of us going live, but it didn't tell me where it was. It's so weird. We're cuddling now, by the way. I didn't no, feel like about, going back to my about house. About my crimes in Denmark. <laughs> oh. Oh, uh, we Go dumped on. some of we dumped some of my grandfather's ashes in a public park, so I'm pretty oh. sure it's a crime. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's technically a crime. I don't think you're supposed to be doing that. Yeah, he's dead and cremated. He sure was. Sorry, I was holding up things because I had to check a message. Oh. Yeah, hi. Oh, hi. Thanks. <clears throat> More rain tomorrow. Hey, thank you for the follow. That's not oh, just a follow. Thank you for the resub, <laughs> Moon. 23 you, god fucking months. I don't think I can do it for four pixels right now, though. What are you guys doing in my fucking house? It's also going to rain tomorrow. I too. told you I was going to cuddle with you. <laughs> I closed all one of my parsnips. Oh, good. It's Clint, or whatever the fuck his name is. I was at good. Button's house. That was scary. I'm going to eat that crow. Why? It stole a parsnip from me. Oh, I see. <laughs> Sounds like somebody's harvesting somewhere. Me. Yep, that me. Okay, so somebody must be really close to me. Like It's just in that section. No. If you're loaded into yeah. that section, you're going to hear the sound. Yeah, it doesn't matter how close you are. Really? Low-key annoying. I'm not annoyed. It's just like, it feels like you're right next to me. So it's like, huh, who is here that I am hearing? What am I missing to make this? So let's see. Who's adjacent? Who's got the uh, stone unique. house? That would be moi. I'm at the lower left. I'm okay, so I'm left. at I'm at lower right. Okay, I need yeah. to keep the daffodil and the dandelion. Like I said, I'm, I'm kitty corner to you, Moon. But these can go. Okay. See, my brain doesn't really understand what kitty corner means 99% of the time. Oh, so when you said that, I was like, corner. yes, I understand. <laughs> no. Okay, do you know what's happening? Well, because, like, kitty corner locationally thing. can also literally mean something else. The corner that the cat is in. There you go. <laughs> Christ. See? Scott knows. There's Tori. The most, of... it's the most important corner, is that what he said? He said the most important cat, but <laughs> I closed my mic on him, apparently. Nah. Also, I don't know if God is hot. Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> what? Because I said 23 god fucking months when uh, you subscribed oh. to me. Oh. And then Monica's okay. like, is God hot? Uh, I mean, if God is Zeus, he could be a swan. We just don't know. If God hey, is um, Zeus, then no. <laughs> is, somebody, is somebody still on the farm? Yeah. Not me. Do you have a hoe on you? <laughs> yeah. There's little worms down here. 
Oh, okay. I don't know whose house this is. Whoever has, like, a, uh, the white house. That might be me? Question mark? <laughs> no, you're, just... you're in the other corner. Okay. Then it's Tori, probably? That's me. I think it's Tori. That's, no, that's me. I'm looking at your screen. Oh, okay. There's, there's worms here. You said white house, and I'm like, oh, it's right. Kind of her mod. Mod. Yeah. Oh, I have a texture pack. I'm holding yeah. my ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, um, White House? It look, oh. it look, it looks super cute! It I know you're- look it looks it super looks cute, really pretty. but, you know, none of us know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> none of you know what I'm talking about anyway, so it's not that different. <laughs> That's actually true. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say, well, yeah, it's fair. <laughs> that kinda- that kinda makes sense. It tracks. Welcome to back, use... Smog! I don't to know use which the trees kids I want line. to cut down. Yes! Moon is now here! I finally come back from Chorland. <coughs> I didn't mean to be in Chorland for that long, but I went and did the many things. And also, I ate some Eggo waffles. That sounds delicious, actually. That you don't know how long they were they really fucking good for. No, I ate those last night. <laughs> those <laughs> ones I ate last night. These ones were fresh. I asked my husband to get them from the market. 